Okay, hi ladies and gents. So this uh, is a quick look at a large house, um, a large townhouse in London and its electrical supply. So I said it was 415 volts or perhaps 400 in the new modern terminology. So it's a three phase supply, four wires, three phase and neutral there, protected by three individual cutout fuses and you can just about see the main leads going into that conduit. Here we have the three-phase four-wire meter. This is an ABB meter, two-rate, you can see there. Um, and it's a so three-phase whole current meter, four to 100 amps, 230, um, and 400 volt three-phase supply, 50 hertz, uh, and it's a whole current meter. Um, th meter constant in this case 30 revolutions per kilowatt hour because it's designed for heavy load. Here's the time switch for the um, rate time of use rate uh, conversion and this thing here is rated for 2 amps on the pilot and 80 amps on, the con on a single phase main circuit. Um, so this is a Horstman timer and you can see the time set um, on the mechanical uh, dial. OK, so there are the vital statistics that I've already pointed out. And you can see that it's quite late at night, and you can see that that meter load wheel is, is making quite a good speed. In fact, if you time it, it works out at about 15 kilowatts. And that's because the night rate storage heaters are active. Uh, as you can see, the indicator indicating low rate. So what does the rest of the installation look like? Well, you can see the big conduit and you can see a number of uh, isolator switches. There's uh, the main uh, domestic isolator switches, so we've got three phases running off to each of the three floors in the building, um, 60 amps each. Here is the uh, breaker panel for all the individual night storage heaters and uh, fire alarm switch, a master switch for the storage contactor and we'll see the storage heater contactor there and the main isolator for the storage heaters. So the pilot timer switch is not sufficient to switch all those storage heaters so there's a contactor to switch three phases worth and just a, a large gas meter there marked in cubic feet and it's not really doing much because this is really only used for cooking and uh, I'm not sure it even heats water. I think the, the whole thing is heated by uh, electricity. Um, interestingly enough, this does appear to have some contacts on the uh, meter register, but uh, I can't see any connection to it. These are some of the cartridge fuses that come from the uh, fuse cutouts there. These are 100 amp um, cutout fuses. <coughs> there you go, English Electric Type RHL pretty pretty nice. Pretty chunky fuses as well. I don't actually know what the um, ultimate braking current is on those. I would have thought it's probably in the region of uh, 50,000 amps or so. Pretty nice. Finally, let's go back to the meter. And those of you who are observant will have noticed that the register has gone up by one kilowatt hour.